Grade 3 math, number 55, divide by 5. Okay, let's look at how I changed this from the last video when we were dividing by 10. Dividing by 5 means you split the number into 5 equal groups or you put 5 in each group. You can find out how many times 5 can fit into that number. You can see I made a number line counting by 5's. That's going to help us, okay? So let's take a look at this one. Let's say you went to the candy store and you had 20 cents, okay? Let's say this is money, okay? This is 20 cents. And you wanted to buy these yummy strawberry candies and they were each 5 cents a piece. And you wanted to figure out how many you could buy. Well, what you could do is count by 5's. That's if there's no sales tax. You count by 5's to see how many candies you can get. 5, 10, 15, 20. So you could buy four candies. The way you'd do this in long division is, you would say 5 goes into 20 how many times? Four times. So you put the 4 up here, because we're not saying 5 goes into 2, we're saying 5 goes into 20. So you put it above the, z the 1's place of the 20. Then you do the multiplication of 5 times 20, you put it here, you do your subtraction and you get zero and you're finished with that problem. Okay? Let's take a look at this one. 15 divided by 5. We have 15 dots and we want to divide them into 5 equal groups. 5 goes into 15 how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many dots are in each group? 1, 2, 3. Also, 3 times 5 is 15. That's the inverse operation. So 5 goes into 15 3 times. 5 times 3 is 15. We do our subtraction and get 0. Okay? Another way to do it would have been to come over here and say 15 divided by 5. We would start uh, at 15 and count down five times. Now I don't have my little ones in here, which we would need. In fact, there'd only be four little lines in here. I don't have my little ones drawn in here, but you would have to do that if you had the number line to really use it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and then you could do it. So you could say fifteen divided by five you would go down three times, because that's groups of five, ten, fifteen, you would have jumped three times, okay? So, how many times can five go into five? Do you remember the identity property from one of our earlier uh, division videos about dividing by one? It keeps its identity. If you had five dots and you had five groups, Whoops. How many dots would be in each group? One. So five divided by five is one. You do your multiplication. Five times five is one. You do your subtraction, and you've got zero. How about this one? Knowing your times table is going to help you go really fast doing this. What times five is 35? Now, we can count by fives and do it that way also. Let's try that. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Seven. Seven fingers. So five goes into 35 seven times. When then we do our multiplication, five times seven is 35. We do our subtraction, and we have zero left over. If we did it here, how many times can five fit into 35? Let's skip count to 35, because these are each fives in between here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and we're at the 35. See that? 7. 45 divided by 5. Let's try it this way. Let's see how many times we're going to jump, because each of these are 5s, till we get to 45. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 45 divided by 5 is 9. Guess what? 9 times 5 equals 45. See? 
So 5 goes into 45 nine times. And again, we put the 9 above the 5 because we're not putting the 5 into the 4. We're putting it into the entire 45. 5 times 9 is 45. We do our subtraction, we've got 0. Okay, a couple more and we're almost done here. 25 divided by 5. Let's count by 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Five fingers. So 25 divided by 5 is 5. Okay, let's put our 5 up here. 5 times 5 is 25. We do our subtraction, we get 0. When we have 0 left over, that tells us we did it correctly. If we had 1 left over, then we did something wrong. Okay? Or if we had 2 or 3 or 4 or, or 10 left over, that means we did something wrong. 40 divided by 5. All right, well, here's 40. Let's see how many times we skip. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 40 divided by 5 is 8. 8 times 5 equals 40. So we're going to put an 8 up here. 5 times 8 is 40. Do our subtraction, get our 0, and our long division problem is finished also. So that's dividing by 5. You can either count by 5s and see how many times you counted, do it on your fingers, counting by fives, and see how many fingers you have. Or have your times table memorized, which you know is my favorite way to do it. Or you can draw dots. Memorize that times table. You'll go a lot quicker. Get your homework done quicker. It'll even help you when you're at the store buying candy. See you next video. Keep up the good work.